Okay, so last vlog, I uh, told you guys there's a hole in my windsurfing board. Here's the hole. So last time it was just this right here, and then it looks like the cracks have spread <laughs> really bad. So I'm gonna attempt to fix this hole today with some styrofoam, flex tape, and flex seal, uh, like the spray just as a safety measure. I also noticed that over here on the back of the board is like this drain plug type thing and the plastic is kind of chipping away. That literally just fell. So I'm gonna flex tape that as well. My thought is, I don't know anything about these old like plastic kind of windsurf boards. I don't know how to patch them, but they're not worth that much money. I literally, you know, got this just on a really cheap trade deal. So, you know, my thought is I'll, I'll fix it up as best I can. It won't sink at least because it won't be taking in water anymore. I got it all dried out. Then, you know, we'll see how long it lasts. And uh, it may, may get more holes and it may keep deteriorating, in which case I'll look for another hole somewhere online. So here we go. I'm gonna fix this thing right now. I'm gonna get the kids taking a nap first though because they're freaking loud. <laughs> Trying to get all the moisture out that I could, and uh, yeah, some more water came out on the carpet, and I ended up spilling my drink in the process. But here comes the foam and the flex seal. Let's see how it goes. to just prevent any spreading. So I ended up using this whole roll of tape. Um, just a little spot up in the middle and a spot on the back. Um, that crack just kept wanting to spread, so this is what it looks like. Taped up, man. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it won't spread too bad over here and over there. There's a little spot up here. What I noticed is that all the way up the board, it's uh, on, on that side of the board anyway, it's all been delaminated from the inside foam and it's probably years and years of water damage in there. Um, I'm surprised they even floated when I went out, but it should be still a great board for me to learn on. At some point, I'll definitely want to upgrade, but um, for now, I am... Uh, Happy with my patch job. Can't wait to get it back out there. Hopefully that'll be on this vlog again. We'll see. Uh, you're about to see right now though, because even though you're watching it in 10 minutes, my week takes a lot longer. So we'll cut to the next exciting thing that I do. Happy adventuring, folks.
fun little fact, actually a fun story. So I paddled out, I don't know if you can see, right here under this bridge, straight out that way. And uh, I got past the bridge, but it's kind of in an alcove, so the wind doesn't really pick up there. Well, I was trying to stand up and I couldn't really get the wind to move me. And this guy was like, hey, do you want me to uh, take you out on my boat and pull you out into the windy section? So he pulled me out. I was like, yeah, sure. So I went out with him on his boat to the windy section. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to me, my GoPro died. So I got out in the windy section, surfed a little bit. That was fun, uh, but my GoPro died. So I'm going to try it one more time, put a fresh battery in. Uh, just the only problem is it's excruciating to paddle out that far. Um, it just takes forever, but I'll try it again. Uh, I may not do it, but I may. Here we go. All right, well, I uh, had a pretty good morning windsurfing today. Um, it was an interesting morning, I guess. I went out really far. A guy gave me a ride on the boat, but my GoPro had died, so you didn't see any of that. Came back in, changed the battery on the GoPro, went out again, and uh, I definitely got some good gusts, um, but Man, honestly, I think today was just a little bit too windy. The internet was right, so it was supposed to be like 27 to 32 mile per hour gusts today, and uh, I think I just wasn't ready to handle that, because um, it was definitely strong, and you know, every time like I would get going, it's like the, the sail would pull me one way or the other, or I'd pull the other way to try to compensate. Uh, I just wasn't prepared my uh, biceps are not strong enough um, but yeah I guess it's all part of the learning process um, I at least figured out today how to actually go the direction that I want to go so that is a huge win that was my goal today go the direction that I want to go 
either way, you know, with the wind in my back, you know, either go left to the wind or right to the wind. Um, so that was great. Uh, I figured out how to point the sail to do that. It's way, you point it way differently than what I thought. So, um, it was just, I, it was user error. I was pointing the sail in, in wrong ways. Um, figured that out, but I guess my next goal, next time I windsurf will be to actually just hold in a big, uh, wind gust and hold it in strong enough and like really throw my body into it so that I propel forward. I almost got there today. A few times I started to really shoot forward and I think I either just got scared or just, you know, couldn't hold it long enough and kind of chickened out or bailed out of it. But, um, yeah, I accomplished my goal today. So I am happy. It was a great session and I'm heading home. I'm going to go fly the drone with my son uh, we're gonna hang out. He's uh, he's got a remote control car, and I gave him my old drone, uh, a little kind of dumpy one from Coles. So um, he's gonna fly those, and I'm gonna fly the new drone, and uh, we're gonna have a fun family day today. So earlier in the vlog, uh, you saw me fix my windsurf board with flex tape, and um, I was worried about it today, uh, especially because whenever uh, whenever the guy in the boat picked me up I mean I wish I could have got on GoPro but whenever the guy in the boat picked me up we hauled my rig onto the onto his boat and I got the sail in and he grabbed the board and pulled it in and uh pulled it up by the center fin the the dagger fin and didn't realize that uh that that was a fin he thought it was just like a handle for the board so he, he tried to pull up on it and when he did it uh dropped the entire board uh bottom side down right on the hull of his hull of his boat so <laughs> uh so that was cool that's cool um it however even with all that the flex tape held strong i was amazed so all the surfing or all the all the wind surfing all the chop all that stuff man the flex tape just it was fine and um it actually felt better it was easier to paddle it wasn't you know there wasn't anything messing up sort of the um hydrodynamic of it or anything um it held great so we'll see how long it holds but um i honestly don't see any reason to try to actually fix the board because it's not worth that much anyway i'm just gonna use flex tape and uh at some point when i actually get decent at windsurfing then maybe i'll get a board a uh, different board that uh, doesn't need to be fixed. So, Flex Tape. This is not a commercial for Flex Tape. I'm not endorsed or sponsored by them, but Flex Tape is amazing and can fix old plastic windsurf boards, in case any of you were wondering.